Hey game makers, Pixelated Pope here, and uh, today I'm going to start doing something a little different. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Pixelated Pope Private Investigator. Uh, one of the things that I think is really difficult to teach when it comes to game programming or just programming in general is debugging. Uh, when you run into an issue, what are the steps you take to go about fixing it? And there's lots of tutorials and you know documentation on steps you can take and things you can do and tools that are available, but nothing really comes close to having a real problem that you don't know the solution to, digging into it and s fixing it and seeing how that's done. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. So a, a user of the GameMaker uh, Skype chat uh, logged on, had an issue, and has given permission for me to take their project uh, and work through their problem and see if I can solve it all while recording it so that you can see my process for going through somebody's code that I'm completely unfamiliar with. I have yet to look at a single line of code here. I've just reproduced the issue. Uh, and then hopefully by the end I've solved the problem and you've seen how I solved it and maybe you learn a little bit about debugging. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's look at this issue and uh, see if uh, we get any clues on where to start. So let me run the game. Oh, okay. So that's, that's a big window. Uh, probably want to scale that down. So the issue is when we run into this enemy there's a crash. And there it is. Okay, let's look at this. It's in object player chunk in the step event. And it's saying that ogame.unknown variable. So is not set before reading. So what this typically suggests is that a uh, a variable has not been initialized. Uh, before trying to be used. So it's either this ogame.bits reassembled or this ogame.number of bits the player is made of variable. And it looks like they are checking to see if the instance, oh, oh, that's not good. Okay. So if instance exists, that's not exactly what we want to see. Obviously, we just want to check for an instance of ogame and not that variable because obviously that instance isn't, that instance might exist actually. Uh, because that could be a zero, an instance zero probably exists. Anyway, let's go let's go dig into this. We'll fix that while we're at it. So let's go into O player chunk, into the step event, and there's our line. Okay. So first off, yeah, we just want to check for that. If instance exists, O game. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. I think they were trying to say and ogame.bits reassembled is greater than the number of bits the player is made of. So if you've got more than or equal to reassembled bits than the player is made of, then go ahead and create the player and destroy the player chunks. And then set bit reassembled to zero. So first things first. Let's go make sure that these variables with the correct capitalization, that's very important, are set up in the create event. Oh, of O game. So let's go into O game, go into the create event. So there's bits reassembled. Bits reassembled, is it the exact same capitalization? And spelling, okay, so that one looks good. And game dot bits num number of uh, bits the player is made of. Let's double check that one. Number of bits the uh, well, look at that. Number of bits the played is made of compared to number of bits the player is made of. So let's fix that. See what happens when oh, let's switch to the full screen view here. There we go. Let's see what happens when we run into this guy.
Okay, well, I well, the crash has been avoided. Uh, I don't know if anything else uh, is supposed to happen, uh, but we're past the crash, and uh, it, we, I'm pretty sure we found the issue that they were running into. So, pretty short episode, I guess. Uh, it's uh, I don't know how useful that was. Maybe we'll have more exciting ones in the future, but... Uh, I, I'm calling this case closed for now. Uh, if uh, this particular user wants to uh, continue on, maybe we'll have a sequel of to be continued episode. Uh, who knows? Uh, but we'll see if they can take it from here and get the rest of their game working. If you have an issue in your game and you'd like me to work through it in an episode of Pixelated Pope Private Investigator, follow the link below to find out how. If you want to see more videos and tutorials like this, click those like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any comments or suggestions, there's a spot for that below the video. Thanks for watching. Now go make something awesome.